Benditos, we are live. It's Thursday, February 8th, just days after season three, title update 20 and project resolve launched. <laughs> it's crazy. And so we are going to get into our first build lab of the season, focusing on the new gear set. It's called Aegis. hope you guys are really enjoying the season there's lots to discover and for me not that many bugs so i've had a relatively pleasant experience with the season i know not everybody has but i'm playing on the xbox things tend to be more stable over here so far <clears throat> but we've done a lot of exploring i feel like i've touched just about everything in the season i um went ahead and ripped through my rewards track and i did it in a really interesting way um uh, but i got the gloves so we'll do um a build lab on that of course and i think we're all uh, I only have basically one build idea for this that made sense, which is a headshot build. And, I, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I have a couple of other ideas, but we'll see if they pan out. And then the mosquito, which who knows? We're just going to have to explore that one. Um, and then obviously I got the mask. And then this, there's a new outfit, too. You can check out. Um, we'll take a look at that later. But either way, uh, completed that. And then uh, I also got the Vindicator exotic too so we can do a build lab on this but we're not going to focus on that today today we're going to be looking at the aegis gear set you should all have this by now because it was one of the earlier things on the rewards track and so it's kind of a tankier type gear set or it's a gear set i don't want to say tanky because it's not really but it sets you up to get more resistance but with that comes a lot of questions but what are you going to do with that resistance because it's not that much it's just more and it's sort of like the armor right so you can put more take a build and put more armor on that build but the enemy's just going to take that away from you anyways and so it's the same thing here so you can have more resistance that's great you can take a couple of more bullets but your armor is going to go anyways why because there's nothing in here that gives you what? What are we missing? Recovery. There's no recovery. So what's the point of being a little more tankier or resistance without recovery? Right? So that's a big problem. So the problem with this gear set that we're going to work out, we're going to try to work out, is that there's no recovery and there's no damage. <laughs> okay and that's that's like two out of three things missing on a good build on any good build in the division two right we talk about you know some of the best builds are in this game are actually more balanced builds right like uh and it could be as simple as like taking the striker uh build and adding the memento and putting on some armor and kill because if you kill fast and you want to clear content fast if you kill fast you want to heal fast too otherwise you're gonna end up hiding and waiting to recover using an armor kit or whatever so you need to be able to kill heal as basically as fast as you're killing and that's because you're taking this little micro damage along the way so you might kill that guy but you took a bullet or two and it, you know you kept going right it didn't bother you but the next guy takes uh puts a bull, couple of bullets on you and it only takes a couple of bullets to take away an entire armor core so this is allowing you to take more bullets but it's missing damage and it's missing armor on kill <laughs> so or repairs where foundry gives you the tankiness but what else does it do it gives you the heals now it doesn't give you damage but at least it's got two out of three this has got zero out of three technically <laughs> you know so and it's throwing in health in there just to make things more complicated so we're gonna you know we're gonna see what we can do i have some ideas Okay, so I'm not going in here blind, but right now, you know, I just um, wanted to show you what it what it's got. So we got health, total armor, and then you're gonna get uh, three percent damage resistance. It doesn't sound like a lot, but 
I think it can add up. For any enemy that is targeting you, the bonus is multiplied by one point, whatever, how many enemies that uh, are staring at you. So here's the thing, okay? So this is the catch, because I've seen some people using this already, and they, well, what, I, what I'm noticing, which is interesting, is they put on this build with a resistance tank build and promoting themselves as a tank, and then they're hiding in cover. What's the point of that? <laughs> Why are you running a tank build where you get more resistance for enemies that are targeting you? So you throw out a decoy and would it get some people targeting that and that that helps you. It can help you if you're running uh, the chess piece. But um, and then you're hiding in cover. So you're not even using that resistance. You're not even using the extra resistance. Why would you not use the extra resistance if that's the whole point of the build? Because you don't want to die. And so that's the confidence thing. So if you feel like you have to run this bill, if, if you feel like when you're running this build, you have to hide and cover, it's, you know, throw your controller. <laughs> you know what I mean? Throw it up. Because this is like, it's a sh this build should give you confidence. If there's nothing else, this gear set should give you confidence to get out there. And if you feel like you can't do that, then there's something wrong with the gear set or your setup. And so we're gonna explore all of these challenges and see if we can come up with something to overcome this. Otherwise, I don't get the point of being resistant and we don't have the slots. You see, there's not enough slots to build in recovery. Where's, where are we gonna put in our armor regen or our repair skills and have damage too? And if you're just gonna be a pure tank, this isn't gonna be the one because it doesn't have the repairs to go with it. So you're better off with Foundry. That's a real tank. This one just doesn't have it. This is just more resistance, but you got to heal. Anyways, uh, so the, the chest piece allows your decoy to pull in more stacks for you, making you more resistant. So does, there is, there's some sort of cap. I don't know what it is, but there's going to be a meter that shows up, and that meter can be full. So there's that. And then when you have uh, when you're playing with people, it's also going to multiply by that. But, you know, the enemies scale, too. So it sort of has to don't look at that as much of a reward as it is a requirement for this to even work. Um, and so it tends to be dropping with a lot of blue cores. And I mean, it's all blue cores, but uh, blue attributes. And then um, I've been seeing some red attributes down here, too as well now let's take a look at the backpack so the backpack is increases the damage resistance bonus from three percent that doesn't read right does it <laughs> is that reading correctly i'm oh, sorry i paused there because i just i think it's backwards increase stoic damage resistance bonus from three percent to one percent does that look backwards to you let me see. What is the bonus? Get 3% damage resistance for every enemy that is targeting you. The bonus is multiplied by 1. The bonus is multiplied by 1.x. I mean, that doesn't read at all. <laughs> Let interest, uh, that's saying that get nerfed. The backpack nerfs you. Congratulations. That's what it's saying. Three percent damage resistance for every enemy that's targeting you. The bonus is multiplied by one. I mean, I think it's talking about the team bonuses, right? I mean, the uh, the bonus like per edition. So from three to one percent, yeah. Oh, you think it's supposed to be ten? Oh, that'd be huge. Yeah, I was thinking it's supposed to be go up by one percent. Because 10% would be too much. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. I would love that. But I think that would be, you'd be 100% resistant pretty quickly. If that was the case, I would say, yeah, we're running the backpack. Okay, good news for us. That uh, we have Aegis on the map today. So what we're going to do is just do a quick farm. I want to pick up a couple of extra pieces before I start re-rolling over things. So we're going to just, you know, kick back and do a quick farm. It'll only take a couple of minutes, probably about 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to clear some content around here, get some more drops. I'm going to uh, use my XP farm build to do that. Uh, this little beast over here. Uh, so it should go nice and quick. And then we'll turn on some directives. And then let's... Um, 
as soon as that resets, I'm going to open up some stash space here. Give me one second. So, yeah, I, you know, I know I sound kind of pessimistic about it, but I am excited because I, I do have some ideas and, um, you know, I th if they work out, they could be some pretty cool things. Very unique and strong, but we'll see. We will see. Um, let's see. What can I move over? Um, tip of spear can go. Um, I'll get rid of you, Xena. Uh, while I'm doing this, uh, I got to tell you guys, like, so I spent a lot of time kind of on my own yesterday, so I didn't stream yesterday. I'm sure you would know that, but uh, I wanted to just kind of get my head in a couple of things here with the new content. And so I wanted to think it out and yeah, basically analyze some stuff. And here's the deal. Um, I figured out with the new system. So there's no, this is just the systems that the devs have brought us. Okay. But, um, which way is he coming in the back door? Cause this has been glitching for me. It is. <laughs> so there's no way to get him without running through tidal basin. And then it just screws you up. It makes it disappear. Um, so I figured it out. So 64 exotics per week using the new systems. Let me turn down the sound. That might be too loud for you there. 64 exotics per week using the new systems that the devs provided us 64 exotics per week and that's what i was working on yesterday it's crazy and so i wrote up a whole guide on how to do it these aren't exploits these aren't cheats or anything like that this is the new title update 20 season 3 answer to the expertise system uh, which requires 42 exotics to get to uh, any one item to level 23 uh, components that is and so it's it's really exciting it's really exciting um, it's it's a grind though of course it is I mean it, it still takes time to, to do the things but uh, in a single session you pretty much pull out like oh really you're targeting me you got some tusk over there and you're shooting me Give me some exotic. I need some ammo. There we go. Excuse me. I'm out of here. Good luck, guys. So, yeah, in a single session, um, you can get, you know, without super heavy grinding, just using the same tactics uh, from this guy, about 11 exotics in a single session. Now, the thing about this is that uh, what makes it different is that these are guaranteed exotics, so no RNG involved at all. Which is pretty cool. Um, and then, so when global, and this is besides global events and all that stuff. So when global events are on there, I mean, you're going to be raining exotics. And so if you do the math on that, that means just with the method alone, you can do about, um, about six, well, you can, six exotics, or sorry, six gear items fully leveled up per month six that's crazy right six that's just this method so we're not talking about your other grinds that you've been doing probably this whole time right so you know you can go into the dark zone and get components that way you can um use global events you could use reward tracks So there's all sorts of uh, other ways to get things, uh, exotic components. So this is an addition to all of that, you know? It's pretty, pretty neat. Guaranteed. And so, you know, I was, uh, I basically, I think I'm reframing things uh, for 2024 because I think what's, I mean, we all kind of real, we all know we're not dummies, but like the reality is, is that the grind shifted on us. You know, you remember the days and, you know, I just, I don't think anybody's really stopped to think about it too hard. But remember the days where what, were, what was the grind? The grind used to be basically... Oh, I hate that ammo. 
gear, right? We used to be grinding like a motherfucker for that gear, right? And now the grind isn't gear anymore. The grind is exotics. That's the real grind or resources in general. God, this guy sucks. <laughs> you gotta get out of that guy. I mean, special ammo on a boss, a, on a turret. Worst combo ever, right? And he can get me there, you fucker. Ed. <laughs> but that tells you something. We got some serious resistance on this build. I mean, 30% armor on kill. Um, anyways, the real grind is it's shifted to exotics, to exotics and exotic components, but resources in general, right? Oh, I got you, you fucker. And. And the reason why gear isn't really the grind because that I've determined is because countdown is the answer and it's a hell of an answer. And you've ever wondered why countdown is left to exist? How does countdown even exist? Right? I mean, go in there. I mean, as a player that's done it a bazillion times since it came out, okay? And as a player that's been here since basically day one of the game and has never left, not even through the drop, through the dry through the drought. I mean, I absolutely don't know how that can exist. And now I do, of course. But like, it's just like, I, I, every time I go in there, to this day, I'm like, what, how can this be a thing? You know what I mean? How is this not killing the game? Because the game, it's a looter shooter. So the whole point is um, repetitive loops to advance our gear. And countdown bypasses that i mean i can go in there right now okay and get all the ages i can dream of basically in a single run because gear sets are a little bit easier of course what? right so brand sets will take you probably multiple runs to get what you're looking for or weapons but for gear sets shit single run you literally have everything you need i mean so where's the grind in that there isn't Oops, that was a miss. Oh, I hate that special ammo. And so I thought about it. It's because it's a paradigm shift in where our farming is. It is no longer in gear, it's in resources. And it's kind of an interesting thing. I mean, I think there's some more to it because I think the devs are trying to think about our problems when it comes to stash space also, right? And so I think they've realized that, how'd you get up there, dude? I think they realized that resources uh, take less server space than gear, I'm guessing, um, because it doesn't need to expand in type uh, as gear is always expanding, right? Because they're always adding new shit. Dude. And resources are always the same. It's always gonna be, you know, I mean, basically, the only thing new they added were these exotic components. Uh, I mean, they were always there. They didn't even add them, right? They just increased the necessity of them. And so it's they. And so I think they're saying, okay, so we can't create more stash space. So how? What's a creative way we can get around this issue? Well, let's change the grind. I mean, and it's kind of smart. It's kind of smart, right? Let's say, hey, let's make the gear easier to get, but to really. Uh, progress in your power level to stay competitive you're gonna need you're gonna need to grind for resources instead and and expertise things up and we got to make it a heavy grind you know and so plus it's good it is also good in a way i mean i know we don't we don't all enjoy the grind but it is good in a way because, you know, if the expertise system didn't exist and then you got all your builds and you got them all at optimized 100%, then what? Where's your grind? And there isn't a grind. And we kind of need the grind, whether we hate it or not. There's, it's got to be a grind in there, you know? And so it is an interesting thing, but it all shifted really underneath our nodes. You know what I mean? It's just like they introduced the expertise system and we were like, great, we're going to be able to get more powerful. And then we got the countdown uh, before or after, I don't remember anymore, but, and then we got countdown and it was like, oh great, you know, it's, 
now we can go and get all this amazing gear and we realize how good it was for exotics and you know it's great but while that was happening the game was shifting completely or it did i mean that was the shift it completely shifted and it's no longer a gear uh loot farm that we're looking for <laughs> it's the components needed to utilize those systems oh, i just wasted that i'm gonna let you be dog good luck so yeah and so that's why these systems are going to be really important and so this so i've created this guide it's all uh i got it all worked out and tested i used all my characters to figure it out and um it's nuts and there's no cheats or anything like that it's um it's utilizing the systems that you know are there that were announced but i just put it together and put it in a logical order because there's a, an order that you want to take these things on um and i explain all that in the in the video but there is a particular order to optimize your experience with it to try to decrease the grind a little bit because um they're guaranteed exotics but it's still a grind right everything everything takes time in this game nothing doesn't take time <laughs> so one way whether you were depending on how you look at it, even the shd requisition project takes time right well you're like it's only a minute yeah but it took you time to get those resources that you're donating so there's always time it's always a matter everything translates into time and so i tried to make it as logical and as easy as possible and then kind of explain all the buffs but here's the deal like some of the crew that i used to run with um this is like even before i had my own clan so when i was part of another clan before i really had my channel on youtube and all of that but some of these guys i used to play with man they were religious religious about their projects and invaded tuesday hit and that's what they did man it was like invaded um the first thing man and they did all their projects including the dark zone ones and they were dark zone players but they would do those projects and these guys always had the best gear the highest watches all the resources they had their protection from elites before anybody i knew <laughs> you know the max protection from elite mods they just had everything and those projects so uh were that rewarding you know basically is that they i mean all the nuances that are in the projects right so you look at the xp and then besides the xp there's um uh you know they drop extra gear and then they drop extra crafting resources and stuff like that and now they enhanced them to get us to do them more right and they're quite a bit enhancing like look at that weekly project the weekly project gives three exotic components three and and that's not all i mean you're getting named item caches in some of these you're getting shd calibrations you get five shd calibrations in the weekly project you know and i did a lickety split man i put on five directives to do these projects on heroic and i did them lickety split the daily project you can do about 20 minutes you know and the weekly project takes longer because it's intended to be a bigger deal and so it took me about 45 minutes to do that one so it, you know you can do them really quickly and the weekly project's only once a week but the daily project is an exotic guaranteed every day seven days a week seven days a week guaranteed exotic component and it's easy you know you put on this build and you know it's child's play it's child's play for sure I mean, they're nothing like control points. I mean, they're easier than control points. I mean, I ran this build through a mission yesterday. It was a fucking joke. Because missions don't have pure elites. You know, where... Um, the missions are easier than control points. Do you know that? In Heroic? Because you got all these dudes... You got a, It was all red guys. <laughs> you know, in these missions, they're all red guys. 
when you're on heroic with all directives yeah that's how i did it all red guys easier it's easier because uh your power is so much higher that you don't need to um worry about you know am i do i have enough headshot damage you can chain kill your way up easier basically and so the the problem was i couldn't nerf the build anymore really i mean i could add more weapon handling but i wasn't gonna go through the trouble it's just easy The daily is, um, the daily is, it's random every day. Yeah, it changes. So, um, like today, it's going to be the American history and aired space. So those will be easy. Today's got two missions. It wasn't like that yesterday. Um, and it's, you can play it on hard or higher. So you can even go through it on hard difficult if you want to. But res resupply a friendly control point. Neutralize named enemies in the East Mall. So if you do the one control point, you take down two named enemies, right? So one, and you get to do the resupply. So one activity takes out three of the five things there. And then I'm not sure if the main bosses count as named enemies in the East Mall. It'd be curious to test that out. So if I go do Air and Space Museum, uh, and I kill the named bosses in there. Does that count towards the general E small? We, we'll have to test that. We should test that today. We'll uh, put together our first build and then we'll go test that. I'd be curious to know. Because sometimes uh, resource nodes were counting towards activities. So going into a resource node and killing the three guys guarding it would count towards an activity. I thought that was interesting, you know? What up, Demon? So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, I thought it, I found it pretty entertaining. Entertaining to do all the projects and uh, pretty easy. Well, they didn't for me, J um, Cockman. Am I getting it right, Jiri? Am I saying that right, Jiri? So I encountered rogues. They didn't count as an activity. Yeah, but maybe they do count as named, but they didn't count as an activity. And I also encountered, uh, you know, one of those random named boss, you know, dudes just kind of standing around in the street and whatever. That didn't count as an activity either. I thought that was weird. And so they took an interesting route to it all, though, something that's intricate. And, you know, you're going to see people not realizing this. I know that. But you know how they went around and did an XP uh, re-level? They, how they uh, re, what do you call it? Rebalance all the XP in the game. And the idea is basically no matter what activity you're doing, you're going to get about the same XP for hour per hour. So if you're doing all public um executions and that's all you do for an hour then you're that's still going to equate to roughly the same as heroic uh or control points roughly per hour you know you know give or take the randomness that you might encounter you know and so it all does you know and i've done them both like over three seasons and it's always about the same and the differences just come down to the randomness that you're whatever you're encountering like maybe an extra rogue fight or an extra resource convoy that lands on your lap or whatever and so they did the same thing with the exotics so whether you're farming the nemesis so you can farm the nemesis over and over and over again for exotics and i did it yesterday and it took me a little over 30 minutes between 30 and 45 minutes to get to the nemesis so that was pretty quick and then i got another exotic that spawned uh from rng dropped me an exotic while i was in descent i thought that was interesting so RNG is still doing its thing in the background. I, I don't know. Well, I was pretty surprised. I don't know how that works, but it did. And then, um, and of course, you get NSA tech uh, on top of that. And so, you know, you could do that. 
right and so that basically means you get one exotic every 45 minutes if we just average that and that's not counting nsa tech and that's roughly close to what countdown does right so countdown guarantees exotics too because you get countdown credits and you get basically two exotics an hour now that sounds like more but once the nsa tech credits start accumulating you start actually spending those they start to even out they start to even out and then so all of the projects are basically the same too when it comes to how much time per exotic is invested they all come down to the same thing about one every 30 minutes give or take on average you know if you average everything out on every method that the devs have given us they all come down to that and some of them are easier than others but they'll be capped right an example would be um like the shd requisition you can't farm that you know you get one per character and that's it it's capped it's just one so you can't really farm that but um they do there is a time element required how long did it take you to get the resources that you donated you know so right so and think about that and if you're using watch points and all of that stuff so yeah it's crazy okay so um and so we don't have damage and so if you want to be able to kill this gear set doesn't have damage so if you want to be able to kill i think we're gonna need um to build that in right i think that's gonna be our priority so i think we're gonna need like blue and reds and then we're gonna have to uh, find efficient ways to bring in recovery and so a skill build could be interesting for this too by the way so we'll save those um but let's look at um this piece is interesting for me so i'm gonna save that for now so let's look at that as a mask i'm not really going to be focusing too much today on the chest and backpack um i just i don't see the point to be honest with you um and maybe we'll circle back on it today but i mean with all the things you're missing i just don't think you can afford it to go to more resistance and just not have your damage and so let's look at basically uh starting with our 1886 because i think you're going to need some serious power here so let's start with the 1886 and i don't know if we're going to be able to stick with determined but we'll keep it for now and then let's just kind of swap into gear pieces so that's a good one there dump that and then see if we can um bring the same build type of build so that means we're gonna load in headshot damage first and then try to well, that's a nice one we got there huh And so there's armor on kill right there. So that'll help. And then we'll keep the memento. And then I think we're for more resistance if we can. But what, what I worry about is do we have the stats? So let's look at our stats here. I mean, 104% headshot damage. So we're about to change that. So let's do that. Uh, let's take this piece. Let's tinker it. And then add headshot damage. What kind of bug? So the Dr. Home has a bug. I hear that, uh, I understand the doctor, I haven't tested it, but the Dr. Home is still acting like it's not supposed to. It's healing people. <laughs> Just on the hit without a kill and it's, it's crazy. But you know, the truth is the bug, I don't like playing into the bugs overall just because, you know, they're not meant to persist. And so I don't want to create builds around them. You know what I mean? It just it's, leads to frustration a little bit. because maybe you really enjoy it one round the game loses the one round oh yeah yeah somebody mentioned that the other day i heard that yeah I heard that. I haven't noticed it, but somebody was talking about that. Thanks for bringing it up again. Yeah. Hopefully they fix that. 
the chambered round is lost. So if you re chamber it around and then you switch weapons and then you come back to it, it's gone. We'll see if I we'll see if we see that here today. Okay, so let's look at our stats now. So we need 150 at least. Um, stats. So we're at 144, a little bit short. And so what I'm going for is I would like to put all protection from elite mods because again, our goal is to stick out of cover. So we need armor on kill because we don't have any heals. Uh, the memento could do enough for us, but. We'll see. The memento could actually be enough for us. Uh, let me clean a couple of these out. What up, Street King? Okay, so I guess we're going to need one hit. I mean, I could take off reload speed for headshot damage, I think, but it's just not worth it. So I'm going to put one headshot damage here. Okay, so let's see if this is something interesting. If this can compete, at least compete with our Hunter's Fury. Because Hunter's Fury brings 20% armor on kill and stagger. So it's, this is a reverse concept of Hunter's Fury without the damage. <laughs> so let's see if we can pull it off. What do we got here? Um, damn, my stash is full. What am I gonna do? Nothing. Okay, let's look at uh, that project real quick. So I'm kind of, I want to test that as we're doing this. So the daily project is the East Mall, and the missions are air and space. So that's great. That's my favorite spot to go. Let's try it out. Uh, air and space, American history. I don't know why the chats aren't showing right now. Hold on a second. Let me look at this. Sorry. I'm... Like your chats aren't showing up on screen. There it is. That's weird. Okay. I refreshed it. So, all right, let's check this out. So we got all directives, 125%. We're on heroic and let's see what this build can do. Test one of the ages. Let's take the weak guy first, because I imagine not gonna have the damage. Yeah, seven million. Give me an ammo. See the meter there? Ooh. Serious trauma detected. See what I'm saying? I mean, I was in the open. I mean, that's what the build is intended to do. Thank God for our protection from elites and shit like that, because armor on kill. I mean, I didn't feel more resistant. I had a full meter. Come on, guys. God damn it. Gotta get warmed up, apparently. Ooh. 
Ooh, he launched that right where I was going. That's some smart fucking play. So we're gonna need more trophies than we're accustomed to. Based on this. So we wanna hit at um, 9.8 basically. And we're hitting at 9.4 right now, so we'll get there with the trophies. But if we were running the Hunter's Fury, we would have already been there because of the amplified damage it gives you. And so what we're hoping for is a really godly feeling because, <laughs> you know, True like a late where what I'm hoping this does is basically give us a layered system of protection. Here. So look at that meter. There seems to be a cap. The meter's gone now, though. That's not the way it's supposed to work, right? Damn you, dude. This <laughs> punch is stronger than his gun. Find any intel on their operation. Seems like these guys are salvaging and repurposing anything they can from this place. The crafty bastards. Let me uh, pin that project here. Let's see. Where am I going? This way. Anything useful, announce it in a recovery team later. And blow the shit out of anything too dangerous. Too close! That's it! I mean, I don't feel more resistance. It doesn't even feel like it's working, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm running max armor. I got bonus armor and protection from elites. I mean, you should feel pretty confident out here, right? And I'm not. I mean, if I didn't have the armor on fucking kill and the bonus armor, I don't know what I would be doing. I mean, look, I'm, I mean, So just first impression, so maybe I'm missing something, but Fuck. not enough. I mean, granted, I got you know special ammo and stuff like that on, but still. I mean, I think their health is a big waste of a stat, I gotta say. <laughs> I could use, like, armor on kill there in a major way. Like, it should be, like, 30% armor on kill. Because, I mean, you're taking a lot of damage. I just can't imagine not having heals on your build, right? And, man, if you're running this build that way, tell me how you're doing it. Because uh, I'm not seeing it. I mean, look, we're barely keeping up in heals. And I got full trophies, so we got 3% armor regen right here. True Sun's reinforcements incoming. 
need to clear the next hall. Vital signs critical. things up there. Keep moving. We still got two halls to clear. I mean, that's why I kind of wondered if this was like supposed to be some sort of PvP setup. Yeah. And even then, like, why? We gotta secure that ordinance. The third rock from the sun. Not be the center of our but so far it is the only planet that can support life as we know it. In the vast reaches of space, it's a rational thing that our little planet is the only place capable of creating and sustaining life. We know that Mars once had vast oceans, that many of the elements found on Earth. So annoying that they didn't give me that. Maybe I should use this as a running gun nemesis build, but if I did that, nobody would use it. Because the nemesis would supplement the power ever missing. Immediate medical assistance needed. So, I mean, I don't feel confident to go take this guy's head on. Isn't that what a tank is supposed to do? I have the confidence to do at least. I mean, if you're going to be hiding in cover, I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. And it's that's the confidence part, right? The game's it's the build isn't the gear set isn't giving you the confidence to get out of cover. Just telling me it doesn't have the defense to go with it. And So I see. So the decoy is actually kind of maybe working against me, right? Because when they're looking at my decoy, I don't get credit for it. Got it. So I might want to use something different. I think that's. That might be why. But I wasn't always using my decoy because I got the. Oh God! See. <laughs> the cool skills uh, thing going, you know what I mean? So the decoy wasn't always out there, and I still didn't feel strong. But let me take off the decoy. Yeah, but the scaling and group is so dramatic. Dear Hawk, I hear you. It's just that the scaling in group is so dramatic, I can't imagine you'd feel good in group either. But it's possible. Um, I don't know what other skill I'd use though. Because the shield would always break, but I guess I can just throw it on. And I'm gonna need heals. So basically, you want people to be staring at you, right? You know, because that's what's going to give you the resistance. So, and that's that's why I feel like 
out of cover gameplay is kind of important for this because if they're not looking at you, you're not getting the buff. So we're almost up full buff. Is there anything up here? Yeah, there is. Yeah, I think maybe the decoy is working against us. Actually. I mean, so if you run the chess piece, then the decoy will work too. But you don't want to lose the power. You know, because, you know, we talk about survivability and time to kill being part of that. And being that you have no damage anywhere else. Good now. Let's feel better now. <laughs> Wait. Well, I wish I had more damage than that, though. So I'm gonna try adding red cores eventually, but I wanted to start with armor. See if you can find any intel on their operation. Seems like these guys are salvaging and repurposing anything they can from this place. I mean, trying to find two million more damage. Well, I still got to get my trophies, but two million is quite a gap. Tag anything useful and I'll send in a recovery team later. And blow the shit out of anything too dangerous. Feeling pretty good now, huh? True Sun's reinforcements incoming. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. And as long as we're getting the kill to refresh our bonus armor, it's an easy way to get a really large amount of armor on kill that you wouldn't otherwise be able to have. It's almost like the mementos required, right? Because you can't get 60% armor on kill on your build without the memento. So, in the, we're getting it in the form of bonus armor. This works. It's working. I mean, we still need to balance it, but I get it now. So, the decoy was just punishing us. But the confidence is up now. Right? I'm just standing out here. Wait, let me get him with this. I mean, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, you know, because I mean? a red guy is able to, he's strong enough to take it all away in a matter of seconds. A red guy is. A red guy, right? So I'm going to, you know, push the limits, and so I'm going to try to basically get out there. What? That wasn't a headshot kill? Fuck you. <laughs> it feels good. All right. I'm digging it now. Tux is coming around. Tux is coming around. The decoy was a big nerf, man. It was a big nerf. Don't run the decoy.
Uh, Bloodsucker could be the other way too. You know, we could try Bloodsucker, but I think we, I think we need the damage from the memento. So if we were running Bloodsucker, we'd have to hopefully get some serious damage out of whatever that brand is too. Yeah, you start over again in Heroic. Yeah, it's kind of lame. It's like legendary that way. I mean, so resistance usually works for your skills too. Because they're a proxy, so an extension of you. So, you know, I, I mean, I obviously have the skill thing on the uh, directive, but if you took that skill directive on, I mean, you'd be like a serious tank with this thing. Because you'd be able to rely on your shield. More. And your time to kill is so fast that, yes, they could eventually break your shield. But you'd kill them before. I mean, damn. So, I mean, obviously we can do this with our Hunter's Fury, too. So, you know, that's a pretty damn good build, too. But this is working. Uh, we'll have to evaluate the two and say which one's better. But one of them is this does obviously give you more resistance without the kill. Uh, where Hunter's Fury doesn't give you resistance, per se. It gives you recovery. But staggering and amplified damage too so you get your damage there faster but we're still getting the job done so it the damage part doesn't matter in the end but it does in the beginning when you're uh ramping up your damage so it's taking my headshot damage away when i enter a new room that's kind of annoying it should transfer i don't know why i mean that wasn't working that wasn't like that yesterday Fucking casual, man. <laughs> casual game mode. Makes it super cash. Recovery team, link up with them and you'll be done there. Components identified. Suggested use: missile construction. They must be using a casing from the museum's collection. If they can rig it with a warhead and some means of propulsion, it wouldn't even need a guidance system to hit the White House or a settlement. Kind of goes without saying, but if you see any missiles lying around, make sure they can never ever be used. I'm going slow on purpose. I'm just trying to absorb more damage, you know, feel it out. Because a lot of, a lot of, you know, parts of getting good and surviving this game is that muscle memory, kind of feeling it out and understanding how much damage can my build take, whatever the build, right? So I'm analyzing that, soaking it in, Database soaking it in. Designation LMR90. That would be the missile then. Oh, that's been happening to you, Durr. Durr Hawk. I like your name. 
I can say that. Durr, Huck! I wonder how long that meter lasts for. There seems to be kind of a lag, like in your favor. Oh, out of ammo. Let's fix that. One kill, 155 more kills. What happened there? How come I lost it? First time we saw armor break. Fucker. Nemesis on the bosses, they're so tanky. This guy's a fucking beast, right? Oh, who next? There's more? Fuck. Fucking cockroaches. It's hard. I know my armor does. Who's, who now? What the fuck? More? <laughs> Cockroaches, I'm telling you, man. This is my last armor kit. Another fucking group. Jesus Christ. I feel like it's limit unlimited waves right now. Please be done. So it did work. So you yeah, so if you complete the mission you get the named bosses. That's nice. Thanks for confirming that earlier. So that felt pretty good. I gotta say. I am surprised. I'm surprised. Now what I want to test is how reliant on armor is it? You know what I mean? Like, so the memento is a big part of this success because like I said, uh, just breaking it down in case you're just now joining us. So Aegis doesn't bring in any heals or damage. It's just resistance. And you get stupid health and total armor, which is nice. But it's just resistance. My pieces aren't god rolled or anything like that. But And so it's just like protection from elites. We talk about protection from elites. It's just like explosion resistance. We talk about that. Both of those are pointless. Pointless. If you don't have a form of recovery to back them up. Because... All resistance does is delay the inevitable, which is an armor kit or some sort of heal. It's just a delay of the inevitable. The enemies are going to punish you until you have to hide and heal. And the way this gear set works, the mechanics of it is to be seen. If you're hiding or using your decoy and maybe if you run the chest piece but you'll lose a lot of damage but 
if you're hiding or being covert like then why are you running the gear set because you get your resistance when people see you which means it's an out of cover gameplay style for the most part that this is promoting so you want to be confident enough to get out there um and so in order to be out there though the resistance is great but it's not going to be enough right because i mean there's 15 enemies shooting you at once and in this case they had special ammo and so you need to recover from that somehow now if you have a healer on your team okay so basically you're just not absorbing as many heals but makeshift repairs does that too on foundry right because it's also healing you so that's the same thing so let's put that aside because i we're you know i'm looking for a unique benefit here but um so there's just not enough room for armor on kill on your build unless you wore the backpack and then put on uh like they just backpack and put on like the 511 gloves and then you got yourself 20 percent armor on kill not worth it though because again the memento might be best in slot um, because it's giving you 60% armor on kill in the form of bonus armor on kill. So you get 10% bonus armor per blue core when you grab a trophy. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. You see how I'm coming up with that math? And then we got 10% actual armor on kill. So that's a total of 70% effective armor on kill. Now you can run gunner, but then you lose headshot damage and you lose handling and you lose attack 50. And I don't think this gear set is that exciting without a very powerful weapon. So you could go to a no scope sniper also. Um, but of course that's gonna make your gameplay a little bit more challenging. But with determined, it's not that bad. Um, you could run the M700 carbine, um, carbon, sorry, and its damage is 200,000 higher, and that might give you the edge you need, but it's also got quite a bit more headshot damage along with it. So we could try that too. We will try that too. Um, and just go center mass with determined. So, you know, that could work too. Uh, the SRS actually would be good. It's pretty strong. I don't know if I have one here. So we'll look at both of those methods and see what we can come up with. Um, so let's head back to the lab. I think we're gonna wanna go farm some more Aegis because what I also wanna do is look at bringing in more red cores. I wanna test how much armor does this really need because that might make things even more interesting. If we can put some red cores on here and still feel just as confident and i mean i was killing slow on purpose so it's possible you know it's very possible okay let's head back here yeah you don't need to worry about a build brennix yeah just your use your weapons and talents for damage and your gear for armor that's the only that's the rule that's the thumb <laughs> basically because yeah nothing lasts right i mean you go from level 31 to 32 to 33 to 34 or level zero to one to two to three to four nothing lasts you're ranking up so fast like every 10 minutes like it's you know so fast yeah so you got the right idea but you know right around the end of the main campaign so like when you get to level 25 some build details start to matter like talents and then uh when you get into new york then yeah if you can get a gear brand set sorry a brand set that aligns with what you're looking to do then that's even better too um so what we wanted to do is also bring along an srs so that's what i'm gonna do here and then we're going to go over and we're going to go pick up a couple of more. Um, uh, that should work. So the SRS got a 30% buff. So that's going to make things interesting too. 
it's uh, de with determined 677. Ooh, that doesn't seem very strong. 676, what just changed? Did I lose my mementos? Is that what changed? Maybe. That was a fast way to lose mementos. Um, what's the rifle base now? 588. Yeah, so the, the snipers are stronger, but and they get rid of crit damage, and they bring in headshot damage, which is more vital for what we're doing because we're using the headshot. So I'm just going to check my stats and make sure I got the right thing going here. Good. So if you go with gunner, which would be helpful for the 10% armor on kill, you lose basically the sharpshooter benefits here. 15% um, increased headshot damage. I said 25. I always do that. 15% has headshot damage. That matters. And then 15% increased weapon stability. That also matters. And then um, we lose attack 50, which you can see me using in the gameplay. Okay, let's... Uh, we're gonna, I'm not going to change anything else in the build right now. The downside about using the sniper is you can't use the shield, so there's that. And ammo is going to become more of an issue because I'm playing out of cover and running around like a crazy. And so you can run out of ammo, so you have to use your pistol from time to time. So the rifle does do a little bit better. The Regulus? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I feel bad using the Regulus, though, you know? Because so many people don't have it. Um, I should have brought the Liberty. And I don't think the, the D50 is strong enough, you know? What is it at? Yeah. I'm not sure we have enough damage right now. Because the gear set's not like Hunter's Fury, you know? The Regulus might work, though. It's an ammo, eh? These fuckers. I mean, it should give you more damage while you're being acquired, too. You know what I mean? I don't know why that's left out. You should also get more damage, not just resistance. There we go. There's our armor. Let's fix that armor break. It didn't work. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's fucking glitched. Okay, gotta turn it off. That sucks. I don't really need XP anymore, though, so we're okay. Got my level 100. But that sucks. It does that all the time, right? It just stops working. <laughs> the SR1. Yeah, the SR1 is... Uh, it's always been a good option, don't you think? It was a good sniper. It just, you know, it's not as pretty. <laughs> But it, I've always thought it was pretty good. It was pretty close. And I'm bugged. Congratulations. Hey, did you guys see you can change your hair color to crazy colors? Uh, yeah, so I made mine like snow basically white. I thought it was a good look for this thing. But you can make it like Joker green too. So check it out. Go to the barber shop when you get a sec. It's pretty cool. I mean, I think they could do more there. I thought it would be cool if they gave you some like multicolored options too but what you tank I'm out of here ah. hold on hold on Get out and shoot, man. Let's see you. Oh, God, their ammo sucks. One bullet and you're on fire, huh? Can't see his little fucking head. There it is. All right, let's go no scope some fools. I didn't check my mods. I should do that. Uh, handling, stability, stability. So that's pretty good. You don't really need handling. We determine too much, but 
Should have enough headshot damage. Uh, if I need more, I'll... Let's see what I can do. What? See, why is that not a kill? I don't have enough damage yet. Oh, God, that sucks. That's gonna be the challenge with this one is the uh, the fire rounds. All the fire that makes you can't ABS. God, I can't get one shot off. Use a decoy helps with that. Ah, uh, what? I timed out. There we go. Ah, painful though. I gotta get that guy off the turret. There we go. Their ammo sucks, man. This is why, I like, when I'm running the ammo directive, I don't come over here. It's pretty rare. But yep, we got the damage earlier, so we're hitting at 11 million non-crit. So it is the stronger setup. Uh, it might make sense to do this. Instead of the rifle. Especially with the current setup in um, directives where you can't use your shield anyways. That's the real benefit that the rifle carries. Is shield and it's ammo. The ammo is kind of a big deal. So I'm not going to lie. You're going to have to remember to use your pistol from time to time. Or stick to cover. But the killing just got a heck of a lot easier. <laughs> it really did. Eleven point seven. You got ten rounds in the mag. It's also a more um, attractive. Uh, from a reload perspective than the um, rifle because the rifle's only got five rounds. So this is uh, actually better that way too. So pros and cons, pros and cons. Let's see what we can do against the boss. Yeah, not bad. The bosses are obviously going to take more than one shot. We'll use an enemy against them. In the bunghole. So the reason why I jump straight to these builds is because, and we're not done, okay? But is because the what I, from what I can see at the surface is that A just doesn't bring the damage, and you know, it doesn't have the recovery. So I don't think it makes a good tank. Otherwise, you know. Oops. But I didn't Blow up, dude. And so, you know what I mean? Tanks has got to have a recovery. And you'll be like, oh, well, if you're running into the team, then you got the, uh, you know, the homie with the heels. But it's like, yeah, but so does, so does Bulwark. And Bulwark is going to give you way more confidence. And it got a buff. not catch me on fire oh that wasn't a headshot screw you dude who are we shooting at guys who are we shooting at God. Hey, keeps getting shittier. You see 
So what I'm doing is farming more Aegis pieces so we can add a couple of red cores, maybe split it a little bit and see what the resistance feels like, how reliant that resistance is on armor. And it's not, of course, the more armor itself is resistant. So of course it's going to be a good thing. Plus it, the fact that it scales with the... Um... I can see that boss with his special ammo. I'm out of here. How did I lose? It keeps taking away my headshot buff. I don't know how. Is it the gear set doing that? Because I have determined. So, you know, I can shoot a guy in the chest, right? So that shouldn't be the thing. There it is. So that's the one we're looking for. So now I can put a red core on it. And I'm not going to do a lot, but one or two more damage things. To, um, and then maybe running the rifle as an alternate or maybe it ends up being better as a primary because you can overall play faster but you don't have to worry about the ammo i think that's the one thing that the the rifle would win at is the ammo situation and then from there we're gonna roll into shotguns because shotguns are like snipers too so the think of the m870 right going around basically doing the same thing as we're doing here, but with the shotguns. So shotguns are really strong. Well, 1.4 million base damage on a red build or blue build. I can't remember, but it's strong. So let's see if we got the pieces we need here. Um, so I need uh, headshot damage already on them. And you can craft too, by the way, if you need to. I've noticed my headshot uh, it was lost multiple times. It was kind of annoying. I didn't, it didn't make sense when it was being lost. Um, I'll destroy that. Those guys are such a pain, though. They, were, they slowed me down a little bit. Kept catching on fire. Um, I mean, you could try running the backpack too and get more resistance, but yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, so what do we got here? So we just got this one with headshot damage. Is it the head? Which one was it? No. One of these. Did I not grab it? Am I blind? I'm blind. Okay. What happened? Did I accidentally delete it? Or did I not grab it because I was full? Yeah, it's out there. There it is. I was scared for a second because that's a good one. It's a good one. You can go to countdown and do all this real fast too, by the way. So headshot damage there. And then now we can tinker, right? So I don't even have to go back to, to test this. I love that, man. Like right here on the fly. Here we go. Making a build change. So key. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for kicking in. And then I'm going to continue to put headshot damage for now, but ideally um, we'd get protection from leads on everything. So we just added one. Now I'm going to ink this down a l one at a time. Okay, so now we're going to take one control point on and see if we can feel the impact. So again, we want to do these in small steps to know what's changing. 
um, and then kind of get a balance between our bonus armor and armor on kill because really you want them both to work in both working at the same time if that makes sense so you don't really want armor on kill if the regen and the bonus armor you do you understand what i'm saying so like uh, if you have armor on kill on the build but the bonus armor and the regen together are doing all the work so that the bonus armor doesn't even have a chance really or it doesn't make an actual difference to your build then you could put damage there instead you know we could put a providence chest piece is what i'd probably do or a habsburg and then just lean on the bonus armor and the regen because the bonus armor is just this continuous shield right because we're always getting fresh set of bonus armor and so the chest piece could be considered a waste you know um i mean i would like to have it but if things have to be rebalanced to uh be able to consistently chain kill earlier on then uh or you can exchange is another way to look at it right so like take off the red put the blue core back on and then put a damaged chest with a blue core like a walker with a blue core or something Oh, by the way, I got my Chain Killer chest piece blueprint. <coughs> Happy about that from Descent. That's like my number one chest piece. Game over. Oh, that wasn't a headshot? Or was? I'm on fire, you fuckers. Reinforcements incoming fire in this game come on man What the? <laughs> you say that? He went into the building, so it made me miss. Pick up some ammo. See right there? Yeah. I mean, I guess I get it. Maybe the rifle was the pistol killed. Decreased it? I don't I don't get it. I shouldn't have lost that though. This uh, get out of my face. I'm stuck behind that apparently. You see how it's a drag the ammo thing? Like, it kind of breaks your rhythm. I mean, I got 24, 23 kills. That's enough to kill a control point, so. As long as I don't miss too much. 14 million. So we went from about 12 million to 14 because of that red core. Now, the question isn't damage, because we were doing good before. So the question is confidence. Do I maintain the same level of confidence? That feels strong, right? And do I gain an advantage by putting that red bar on? Immediate medical assistance needed. <laughs> right where I was going. Good thinking, lady. Two shot at her. It's not bad. For the ammo. I mean, if you weren't running directives, this would be game over. <laughs> you know what I mean? The only thing I'm complaining about right now is the ammo.
Yeah, we're one shot in elites. So that's a benefit. I can't remember if we were before. I mean, like on first kill with the tech. I can't remember if we were before. But I can test that later, too. I mean, we got 3 million overkill, the way I look at it. But if we're one shot in elites out of the gate with the TAC 50 or the Nemesis, then I'm happy about that. I'll take it. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in decoy. Yes, I mean, I did uh, like three or four runs in Descent yesterday, testing things. And um, it's, that RG can get quite crazy in there. I saw three boss encounters before I got to the Nemesis. <laughs> and that gives you, I mean, it basically gave me 100 NSA tech from that. I mean, I got my vindictive in a single run after uh, grumpy and i ran it so two runs in total um i kind of like the nemesis and out you know get the nemesis and get out 50 percent chance at that blueprint and you can do it pretty quickly i mean it's really cool because you never uh, go beyond the single wave thing and those double waves kind of are annoying, right? They really slow you down. And we talk about one of the cool ways uh, or one of the ways we wish they had buffed the event would be to speed it up. And so you can kind of artificially do that yourself by just beating the nemesis and getting out. And so you're only encountering single waves. The that means everything is just easier. And if you're going into the farm blueprints, then that's pretty cool, you know? But if you're going in there to create the ultimate fantasy build, then obviously you want to stick it out for longer. But I think when it comes to farming the blueprints and getting the guaranteed exotic, 30 to 45 minutes is pretty appealing. Uh, and you need those blueprints, I gotta tell you. Those are pretty damn unique. What do we got here? I mean, that's better than what we got. I mean, we didn't even have full armor going in there. You should have quite a bit of armor when you got this thing maxed. So... What do we get here? That's also better. So this is 154, 623, 154, 145. So this was junk. So we already got a better one. So let's go ahead and swap that on the fly. Thanks to Tinkering. I love you, Tinkering. Okay, so we'll put this one on and then we'll change this. Making ourselves even tankier. And then that means I can delete the other one. Oh, really? The 50-50 chance is biting you in the butt? And you're checking your, your mailbox, too, in case you were full? Um, okay, so I would like to put on one more red. So we're looking for one more red head shot piece. I don't think I got that yet. I think this will also make a really interesting skill build, a hybrid, the set. Um, sort of like a game over build because if the idea with the game over build and the slaughter build is both to have enough resistance to get out there just to grab your trophy because every time you grab your trophy, you're gonna get six skill tiers of boosts or 30% boost to your skills, which are gonna help you kill faster. Could be quite interesting. 
you know, so you run technician, you run four pieces of this and six skill tiers, but you're going to have two blue cores at least, if not more or less. And then you're going to get the 15%. Uh, total armor on top of that. So it could be quite interesting. God rolled Bellstone out of that chest. <laughs> Triple God roll. Did you see that? These chests are a little, a little interesting, I gotta say. Coming through. The other thing is we need to figure out our other skill because... The shield is just a big waste, right? See, one shot killed. I mean, that one was a crit, but I think we would have did it without the crit, too. We did it before. Right here, buddy. Look at me. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Made it. No, you didn't. Still more. Remember, we took off an armor core. Ammo though. Just ran out. I mean, you could run a bulwark shield. I mean, you'd have to take off a lot of rip, uh, blues to get that kill capability though. Work though. It did it. All right, what we got here? No, I don't think that's worse. Yeah. Moving on. On the hunt. Yeah, it is. Darian, you probably realize that it swings like a pendulum, right? Yeah. You get used to the timing of that swing and you can be an ace with it. Yeah. Uh, May, the Dread Edict will drop anywhere targeted loot is set to MMRs, sniper rifles. Um, so open world, there's no, nothing special to it. You could go to also uh, to countdown and set your targeted loot to snipers. It's a great, great weapon. Great weapon. Totally worth it. I got, one, I got two yesterday. Just RNG. Uh, so, yeah, I would go into countdown, farm snipers. At the same time, I would be using my countdown credits for um, caches and, you know, roll the dice, too. It's not particularly elusive, but there's a lot of exotics in that loot pool, so... Yes, yeah, I guess we're not one shot chain killing consistently. That we were. So I don't know if that red core is really worth it. We'll still add a second one. That would be the game changer that you would be looking for. Like, why do I want to run a red core? It's got to change something, right? The outcome. I mean, obviously, once you're going, you're going. But like, if you're, you only need 10.8 million. So I'm hitting at 14, which means like it's just wasted. Helps a little bit on that boss, but there's only two of those guys, you know. So I'm not too worried about him. Right.
I like these kind of builds, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> There's lots of builds that you can make in the Division 2, and I just particular fan of these kind of like over enriched resistance builds that can one shot kill. See how I lost that? Why did I lose my headshot buff? It's just going away. I think maybe they fixed the timer, but the other day that wasn't happening. I mean, I'm not switching weapons. I mean, this is as of today. I didn't, this was not happening to me yesterday. And so the only thing that's changed between yesterday and today is the gear set that I'm wearing. It's frustrating. Please don't. Oh, dick. All right, that's a good chance to reset because I need to grab a shotgun too. Really? Yeah, it's 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 seeming to be interesting, and you know, side by side, is it better than the Hunter's Fury? I don't know about that, but it does bring a different edge to the way you play. And so, I mean, I do like it. I, there is a a similar level of confidence to it, and so I think like when we tweak it, we find its its secret. You know, what's its secret? Maybe it will decide it could be the best for our XP farm alternate. So basically with this setup, the way it is, we would want to hit one point or 10, 10 million, 9.8 million off of the first shot with the TAC 50 or the Nemesis. And if we can't do that, then we need to add one more red core. And then can we do that? And then we got to wait. Is it worth it to be there? Do I still have the same level of confidence? If so, then that's the way to go. Because our time to kill is so fast, we now made it easier to get that first kill and then things will fall in line faster. And the reason why that matters is because on snipers or, you know, when I'm playing out of cover, I'm running out of ammo and then, you know, I'm having to pick that ammo back up again. Okay, so I'm looking for the M870. I mean, imagine if you ran the White Death, you're going to be even stronger. The difference is, you know, now you're going to have to reload all the time. Do I not have the M870 already on me? I guess I don't. Excuse me while I go get it. Uh, probably here. So the rifle, the rifle is an answer to the pistolero directive because one kill gives you about 150 rounds and that's 150 kills so it goes a long ways you know so you you really don't have to use your pistol again for like four or five more control points pretty fantastic and you really to be honest with you you never use your pistol again because for some reason somewhere an enemy just drops ammo and you end up with like 300 rounds and stuff like that. It's really hard to run out with a rifle. Happens though, but it's more rare. Like I said, we're gonna try the M870 as part of it because it's the same concept. And you'll see here, like the Calibre hitting at 1.2 million, right? And then if you go with Pummel, you're gonna get the auto reloads, which is ammo from the sky, and then 40% more damage. So we'll try both of those. Um, you have to play extremely close and personal, of course. Let me offload some things here. Uh, the Chameleon, the Good Edict. 
That can go. Got all these weapons. I need to figure out which ones are keepers. I'm also planning on doing a uh, sniper rifle comparison ranking thing here. So look out for that. I'll just go through these later. Oh man, we got so many build labs to do this year. We got to pace ourselves. Don't worry. <laughs> you know? So I just got a couple of key videos I'm up front and so we're gonna be doing the build labs, but like um, I gotta get one more over right We got a lot of lot of labs and builds to come up with so many fun upgrades to existing things Slaughter game over Shotguns to Calibre. That's all we needed, I think. All right. Okay, Tay. <laughs> What's up, man? Hello. Is it you I'm looking for? the music. I want to hear the original soundtrack, the new one. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and switch to the shotgun now. We'll continue to farm for one more red piece of Aegis and uh test the shotgun too because it it's interesting for that category again the point is to play out of cover the pistols are great ideas i just don't think they're strong enough so we're looking for weapons near a million base damage near a million base damage so what i got to do is one pick that shotgun up but i got to set this and so we need sharpshooter and I got to unfortunately take off one of these. So let's take off the rifle. Oh, no, I got to leave the rifle. because okay, so Let's take off the pistol, which sucks. And then mark this to shotguns. So we have damage there. Now, if the shot, what makes the shotgun interesting is that shotguns can be so strong that I might be able to eliminate sharpshooter and then go to gunner and pick up another 10% armor on kill. But that not that's not critical. Because again, bonus armor on kill, you need you need the resistance. Okay, let's see. You drop offs. Let's bring in the shoddies. The McShottersons. All right. This will be fun. Let's start off with the Calibre because uh, it's kind of my new favorite. And then let's put on reload speed everywhere. I got weapon handling up there. Let's see where we are. Headshot damage, probably low. Yeah, 122. Let's see if we can pull it off. It's painfully low. Uh, let's make sure I have my Providence with me before we go, because we might need to switch to that. I don't, so let's grab that. Is that nasty? Uh, not yet. We're working on it. We're in the middle of a build lab, so it's in progress. We'll get somewhere with it, though. Uh, it's making good momentum. So I'm testing different weapons and really, so for me, the build I'm looking for, so what's my objective? You know, I should have started with that, sorry. So my objective is to come up with a XP farm build. So we're talking all directives. 
and her for heroic and it should make the content feel easy so we're looking for something like our my hunter's fury xp farm build something that uh, you know you kind of killing hit and giggle kind of thing you know what i mean because it's just like this is so easy child's play But yeah, that's a new gear set, Aegis. That's what you meant. So the thing about shotguns is that, yeah, you gotta actually hit the head. But you know, you're pretty close. <laughs> and it's got pellets, but the pellets can screw with you too. So, so we're gonna have to get ammo. I can't remember how the ammo give is with this thing, so with shotguns, can't remember. It deals a lot of ammo when you kill with your pistol for your shoddy, but we'll see. Oh, fuck. See how much ammo it gives us. 26? Ugh, it's just like the snipers. Not very much. So it's not a huge win here, but let's see what we can do. Oh, we lost our ammo because I switched. Let's see. Ah, okay. That foam, I should have broke it, I guess. So with Headhunter, my mechanics stay the same no matter what weapon I use. So I still try to get that first kill with the the heavy. And get one of these guys. Just hold still long enough. All right, let's see what we can do right out of the gate. So the good news with this is that we get a shield. And I lose the shield. It's close. Okay, so when we get the trophies, we'll see. Cut. Whatever. That was bullshit the way she moved.
God, they are fucking squirrely nowadays, man. You guys ever notice that? You feel like they're more squirrely than they were before? I mean, they're just all over the place. Part of it's kind of that they're glitching. Like, there's like mini teleporting going on in there. It makes them look more squirrelier than they actually are. Yeah, so we need more than that. We need to take his health, right? So we're close. It's crazy because the shotguns are stronger than the snipers, but they don't come with all the headshot damage. So that's part of it. So they got a higher base damage, but we're missing, you know, the big headshot damage bonus that the sniper has and the rifle has, right? So the rifle has it too. It doesn't show up on the main stat on the weapon itself. It's in your stat page. If you look there, when you equip a rifle, there's like this mysterious extra headshot damage that shows up. There we go. There it is. So about, uh, about 35% of the way on your trophy system. Turret, where's your boss? Where is he? Oh, back here, it looks like. So if we ran Pummel, you know, that could be a win on the damage side, too. So I'll switch to that next, see if that makes a difference. All right. It's the same weapon, different talent. So every third kill, we're going to get a 40% weapon damage buff. It doesn't last very long, though. And you can't change weapons. <laughs> That's the downside. Unlike the Calibre. And you can see me changing weapons. Right? So when you do, it's going to reset the count. Come here, you fucker. Okay, let's start off with it. A different gun because you need to earn it. Okay, so we don't want to do much switching here because stupid talent which means you got to really get that see that was a hand shot that's now i gotta switch <laughs> that's the problem with pummel right all right not the end of the world but you know when ammo is an issue it's annoying Come here. Don't you do it. Fucking A. Oh, that's annoying. 
clipped her, apparently. Even though it was two feet away from her. Like, sometimes shotguns, you gotta get way in there, right? You shove it up their nostril. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we get that one more red core, we'll be one-shotting those guys. Oh, another body shot. What up, Evan? To get like two pieces of gear dropping. <laughs> well, that's interesting. We need it though. This is what we were looking for, but we already got that one, huh? Dump that. Um, no China. Not as good. I'm not asking for a lot here. <laughs> Just one. Oh, there it is on the body. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to be worth it, though, you know? Hold on to that one just in case, but... How's school going, Evan? You kicking ass? Jeremy, what up, man? Yeah, so shotguns work. I, it's hard to beat the rifles with determined or the snipers, though. Um, especially since there's no the ammo is just as bad as snipers. So that's really the deterrent. Because I'm having to, I'd have to switch to my pistol just as much. But we'll give it one more shot here. Civilian no, I haven't. I haven't been there, trucker. What are they doing? Is it just an XP change again? <laughs> it got a lot harder, huh? It was pretty damn hard before. Did they remove the cover so you have to go in there? Is that what they did? <laughs> That'd be a hell of a change, wouldn't it? Fuck. 
So the problem with shotguns is it takes you longer to acquire your shot. One, you have to get closer. But um, to ensure that your pellets land on the head. And so that difference pulls from your survivability because you're using more of your resistance. See? So basically, I, I shot at her too early and then missed because my pellets scattered too much. Ah, uh, come on. Get off me. Fuck. Her and her freaking fire grenades are nasty, man. Really? It's gonna be like that. I need this to be a one shot with this. That's why we're that's why we're farming. It's gonna cut down my time. There it is. Really? Fucking bullshit, right? Yeah, that, that's the challenge. That's the challenge. That's why Determined belongs in the game. Right there. You shoot them in the head and they count it as a body shot because his hand is takes a, a piece of your bullet. I mean, that's exactly why Determined exists. Say the boss. See that? So, you know, I, I had to get close enough, and, and you're slow walking in ADS, right? And so, what ended up happening is that's enough time for them to break my armor, so the shotgun is a disadvantage, really. It's harder to land that shot. I just don't have the handling. So I, I don't really think they're worth worth it, worth it. I mean, you could try doing like the Scorpio or one of those guys, but you know, you're just a standard tank build there that's not a very good tank. Actually, just pistol that guy. KGS, I'm running the Aegis, the new one, where there's a build lab. So what we do here is we figure it out and come up with some interesting builds and eventually I'll lock in on something and then I'll review the gear set. So I'll put out a, a review video and be like, hey, this is what I think about it. This is how it works. This is what I think the dev should change. And here's a build for you to use. And so I tend to find a build for even the shittiest things that I don't like. So like, I mean, I found a build for Imperium Sanctum. Like if you are gonna run it, if you wanna try it out for yourself, use this build, <laughs> you know? And that was the last time I ran that build. You know what I mean? Because it's just, I don't like the weapon enough to continue to play, but somebody might, you know, somebody might, probably the minority and that's okay. And so we make, we make builds for everybody. Best build for the Star Hill. Fucking backpack is like a goddamn magnet. <laughs> I don't get those weak points, huh? They're like magnets. Uh, 
that they're on me. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I mean, that's how close you have to get with shotguns to guarantee it. You know. See that? That didn't count. That's fucking bullshit. All right, where we got here? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna take off shotguns. I just don't think they're worth it. Going back to the. We let's try the. Uh, let's try the M700 carbon. Let's go no scope on this. See if we like it. Reload speed, stability. We don't need headshot damage because we now have a lot, right? So this should. The snipers are great. Again, it just comes down to ammo. I knew you were gonna get me with that lady. Uh... She didn't like that, did she? So what we're doing is a mechanic, so we gotta get one shot with that. Now I'm gonna switch for a no scope. Oh, she stole my kill, you fucker. Okay, now let's go get our second kill to activate the determined weapon talent is what we're up against. And so you can do it from range, you don't have to be close. But you do gotta hit them in the head. Once they're done doing their dancing, there you go. So 10.5, we're about 500,000 in overkill there. That's that's great. 600,000 in overkill. Not too much. You want to get like as close as possible. Oh, uh, well, now we're at 4 million in overkill, so never mind. It was just the first kill. It's okay. I mean, if that's how you want to play, but what we're looking for really is to one shot kill with the TAC 50 and Nemesis right out of the gate. I think that's gonna take one more red core. If we can get that, then we're we're steamrolling these guys a lot faster. Civilians in distress. Yeah, that's good. I mean, skill builds are good, especially if you're just learning the game. Oh, look, at speaking of skill builds, I do think Aegis is going to make a wonderful addition to our skill build series. Again, resistance is good because the goal is to pick up trophies so that your skills get more kills, so that you pick up more trophies. <laughs> and, you know, I think if you see skill damage pieces, you should try them. It'd be a great hybrid. We'll make that build up for sure so they get all the pieces. I'm probably going to do separated by hybrids, not by brand. If that makes sense. We got a lot to explore on the hybrid side of things. That's a perfect one. God rolled. So now I think I got another one I can delete down here. Yeah. I don't need status effects. Okay, so did we get a red one somewhere? No, but we got another God World skill damage. My, nice. We're making our way into that one. Okay, so one more we're looking for. Let's see if there's an activity close by. Yep.
We could just go do a countdown run too. I'm sure it'll rain them. How dare you, sir? Fucking gunners, huh? They're annoying. Especially when they got special ammo. I mean, you're just shaking a lot. There you go. Pretty good resistance. All right, we got some gloves. And there they are. <laughs> Perfect, right? All right, so let's equip those, and then we'll tinker them. Oops, tinker. And we'll turn that into a red core. Now let's see if we can one-shot out of the gate. Is that enough? At the cost of bonus armor of 10%, which isn't the end of the world. And my next move will be to change a chess piece if we're not accomplishing that to Providence or something. Or Habsburg actually would probably be ideal. No, Providence. Well, maybe Habsburg. <laughs> Let's find an elite. Where's an elite? Hold on. There's one. so close 9.3 close let's try this one oh that one critted so on crit yeah 9.3 is close so um let me take off a protection from elites i want protection from elites. i'd rather take off their armor and kill i think Believe it or not, because I think the bonus armor on kill. Hold on, let me see if I got a Habsburg. Should have grabbed a Habsburg. Okay, I'm going to put on Providence here, but that's going to put on a red core. And so what I can do is put on one more protection from elites instead of headshot damage there. So I'm going to put on all three protection from elite. So it's a swap of resistance. So let's see here. There we go. So extra red core, uh, but extra protection from elites. So that's the change. Let's see if it does it. So what I'm looking to do again is take on an, uh, one of these gold guys in a single shot. There it is. Ride on the money. 10.58. We're good. All right, let's see if we like it. Let's see if we're confident. Really? You're still shooting at me?
Somebody somewhere. Ah. Uh. See how the bonus armor is not as juicy, but it's all good. Who's left? I mean, they see me apparently, but I don't see them. Oh, there's one. 16 million overkill. 6 million and overkill now. But I think that's what I need to get the job done on that first shot. So we'll play with it a little bit more. But that just speeds things up. When you uh, have a miss or when you encounter... I think a Habsburg might be the the best choice, actually. So, because it gives you armor and it gives you damage. So let's see if I have a Habsburg somewhere else that I can showcase. Um, there. So we get headshot damage and we would get armor. So I think that's the chest we want instead of Providence. And then we'll have our cake and we'll be eating it too. So let's go do that. I'm excited. I think this is it. Go grab it. I think the nemesis with the team is harder, John Paul. It's a lot easier solo. I mean, four nemies. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of angles you have to cover. So this is what I found out. I don't know if Evan and um, Grumpy saw this too, but the uh, the nemesis is throwing out whatever skill he fucking feels like. So he threw out a turret on me. I didn't have a turret. <laughs> you don't. I, he he had he throws out whatever he feels like. So he threw out a turret at me, a fire turret, and I didn't have any turret. I didn't have any skills, as a matter of fact. I went in there with like one skill, just because all the options were shitty. He was just, he did put on whatever he felt like and was throwing them at me. Thought that was like, that's not very nice. Yeah, I did. I put the burn ammo on the, the pistol. Okay, that's what it was then. Yeah. He was... Uh, the, yeah, that, that's why then. I figured it might, might be that. Good to know. To confirm that. Yeah, I was adding the special ammo to the pistol kind of early before I got to him. You know, a couple of rounds early. And then uh, when I got to the pay stations right before the nemesis, I put the ammo on my other two weapons. But that kind of sucks, right? Because if you only get shitty choices, like a chem and... A stinger hive or something like that then like if you don't pick one of those he's gonna put on a turret that sucks so we're looking for something like that or like that um either is fine let's take them both so you see so we're gonna get our uh 15 damage but also keep our armor core so let's see if we can pull it off still so let's do that i guess now let's take that we need the handling because uh there's no handling stats anywhere that's our only one so all right let's see what we can do actually let's go to uh this side of town
you know what i wish they would have added guys is the ability to change your special your specialization in the field i tried to do it just in case it was there and maybe they didn't tell us but nope Oh man, I'd be so happy if you could switch to like survivalist out there or something like that. Or at least like where you're not in combat, but you don't have to go to the base of operations. Seems like kind of an obvious one that they may have overlooked, right? I mean, it's there. The option's right there in your menu, you know? So you go in here, you, oops, oops, too much. Go here, you click here and you should, I mean, there they all are. Like, why can't I? equip it see that no equipping option i mean the button is there the button is there and they just they lock it in i don't get that why All right, let's see how we do a one shot chain kill. Yes or no? Well, we don't have mementos, so that might impact us here, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, we need ammo, so let's just get this started here. Sucks. There it is. Moving on. Let's load up on ammo here. So are we doing it right off the bat? Let's see. Yep. Well, I mean, that was a crit, but it looks like it's enough. Don't really want to count crits, you know, just because we don't rely on them. So we no longer have that armor on kill. So let's see how we do. But you kill, your sequence of kills are so fast. As you can see, you collect those trophies. <laughs> they get quite dramatic because you can, right? It's just that easy. I mean... So the good news is that like we're not relying on our trophies as much right away we're chain kill superheroes except for that first shot we're gonna probably need a couple of trophies then so we'll test that uh so i'm gonna let me lose it on purpose okay my chain kill capability let's get some ammo while we're at it and then we'll test now that we have about halfway through our trophies which is really fast right Okay, so we're about halfway through our trophies. Let's see if we can chain kill. I mean, get our first headshot kill with this. Oh, he's easy, though. He's just a purple. Let me just kill him. Okay, we need an elite. I like testing against elites. That's all because you face so many of them, you know? All that body flinching me. Oh, uh, that's not it. Okay, moving. I need a new guy. Fresh one. Fresh fish. Come on. Nope, not quite. So, we're almost there. <laughs> Maybe we'll never get there. I don't know. That We were a million off. I think we were doing it when we had full trophies though, weren't we, earlier? Well, I changed things though, so. I added an armor core and a protection from elite, so maybe I'm being too aggressive. And the change up. So we might have to meet it halfway. So let me 
take up one of these. Nineteen million. Yeah, I like the MK17 too, actually. I do. I like the MK16 also. Good weapons. It's a little bit of a preference thing, you know? I mean, it can bounce a little bit. You know, it's like the when it shoots, um, you know, it's recoil feels pretty bouncy, but I feel like, you know, you kind of kind of got to get that in there under control. Okay, so we got a resupply, right? Uh, easy peasy. Not the guard. We need a Catholic Tawn. So he needs food, water, and tools. I think the tools are the easiest to come by. So I'm going to give him 50 of those. So you can't share resources. These are called resources, right? And then you got materials. But you can't share resources with your other characters. And it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Because those SHD projects ask for them, right? The Dr. Home is looking pretty good. Yeah, but it's bugged. And so I don't know if you want to run it and, you know, sink your teeth in it and love its savory taste just to find that they take it away <laughs> so it's it's giving you 10 percent armor on hit and it's healing the whole team so you know and i that's awesome right it's awesome but for me it's just like oh i don't want to like it and then they take it away it just i don't need it but if it was there permanently, I would definitely use it. I mean, that's a big win. Huge win. But if they're going to take it away and you create a whole build for it and then it's just temporary, it's like, well, I don't need to win anything for a temporary, that much to use a temporary build, you know. Yeah, but yeah, they'll be using it in PvP to cheat. Somebody is. <laughs> you know, somebody's already doing that. Okay, let's test our one-shot chain kill capability now. So I took off one mod. We need an elite. Here's one. And not quite. Okay, so he died, but it was from the shock. Um, so the decompression. So let me fix something here. Go over here so I can get the allies on their way. Reinforcements in route. So one way around that is to... I mean, we could put the Providence back on. 
I mean, if with armor would be ideal. Um, let's try that again. I'm not sure if I put the three. I think we did, right? I mean, a red Habsburg would be the same as a Providence. So, yeah, I think this is just going to have to be the route. I don't think there's another combination there. So that makes it a 3-3 split. Let's see how we feel. If we can't one-shot chain kill right out of the gate with some trophies, then it's not worth it. Without trophies, okay, I can, I can chew on that, but... Do I have the right gun? No. There it is, 10 million. Okay, that's what we had last last time. So I think that's the way, and we'll just have to think about, is it worth it to lose the armor to do that? But we do got three protection from elites. So we took off one armor core and we replaced it with a protection from elites. So it's not that we're generally weaker, but what we do lose is bonus armor but doesn't matter because of the rate in which we can kill and collect it might not matter because you're killing because <laughs> you're a kill stone cold killer but it's balanced i like that i like that And the point isn't armor, the point is resistance, right? And so, for the difficult content that we're taking on, protection from elites is quite important. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, we do. I mean, so we would have had him in two shots if I didn't miss. So that's good. He's an average NPC, so not too tanky, not too light. He's like the Sherman of tanks. So then we'll go back to the rifle and so that's going to be what we're after rifle or sniper rifle or sniper the the snipers definitely get to the power threshold faster that you want to be efficient but the rifles don't have ammo issues If you play from cover you're okay so yeah you can just do that too but if you do that then you might not be getting on the resistance and then you're gonna have to ask yourself why am i running this pretty clutch though feels good Feel confident. Uh, killing in one shot has a lot to do with that, right? And so that's why it was so important that we chose weapons throughout this test series that can do that. Because without the one shot chain killer, if I was out there with the Ouroboros, I mean, my time to kill is not going to be pretty with the Ouroboros or the Scorpio. It's going to be chunk, 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 you know? But at least you can use the shield with those weapons. So you have that. But you can use the shield with the 1886 too. And you got great range. Hitting at 17 million. And you're pretty invincible. You can die though. <laughs> Wait. Two shot in bosses.
Hmm, Palisades. That's not bad with the Adrenaline Rush. Crit chance. Kind of lost interest in Adrenaline Rush, but... Supply room access unlocked. Maybe we'll bring it back. Oh yeah, that's just Ryan. That's just um, my uh, I got colorblind settings on. It's just a good, it's good practice. A lot of players that have been playing the game for a while use it. Um, it shows you ranges on explosions. You see the white lines. That's mostly what we're after there for that. Also for heals, but you know. Oh, what else do we got to do? Do we finish the project? No. Complete the American History Museum on hard or higher. Okay, let's do it. Free exotic, I'll take it. Okay, for here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate in, rotate in the pistol and the rifle, which means I'll lose my nemesis, <laughs> which I like, but it is what it is. The downside is we're going to lose our ammo when we go in here, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, put the rifle here. All right, and then rifle, and then we got the carbon and our pistol. So... Getting some ammo real quick. There it is. Loading up. So notice we get about 20 rounds there and then 160 on our rifle. So you see the advantage of the rifle. It's the answer to directives. And then I missed. Anyways, missions are so much easier in heroic control points. It doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? I mean, a bunch of purple and red guys. You don't even need, like, if you play missions, you don't even need a nemesis. I mean, these missions are so easy compared to the heroic control points. The security terminal should be somewhere nearby. Isn't it the security terminal? Where are you people? Where are your stupid footsteps? Dude, please don't. Let's switch over to the sniper. I mean, you one shot him with the sniper out of the gate, right? I mean, like for missions, yeah. I mean, it's game over. For these little fuckers, little digital fuckers. Active terminal detected. Sounds promising. Find it and patch eyes again. That's right, Derhawk. That's how I use it too. Okay, yeah, Not it's a really good out. utility weapon, right? It's just it's, it's got a job and it does it well. I sometimes like to break it out just for the challenge, you know, just because it's a little more pain and it has to use and kind of fun. I would like to figure out how to get one more armor core on here. So, I mean, for missions, it's not a deal. But for the heroic control points, I would like to figure it out. I mean, to be honest with you, you know what the damper and the mood is? The fucking... Um, the health. It's a waste of a slot. It's taking something where I could put... 
you know, armor on kill on. Sorry, just getting some ammo real quick. I mean, that's the wasted slot that we're, we're looking at here. The build is missing so much. The gear set is missing so much. And then they have the audacity to put health on it. I mean, what a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Honestly, it's just like, what were you guys fucking thinking? It's a really poor design gear set. I mean, it's working. We got a good build for it, but it's so limited on how many variations you can create. You know? That would make sense. You're just going to be like, yeah, nah, I'm just going to go back to my old tried and true. Whatever. Foundry or Hunter's Fury. I mean, I like this for sure, but it's got competition. And when stash space is a thing, you have to consider it. The alternatives. And so it's as simple. What I'm saying is it's as simple as... To perfect this gear set, you got to get rid of the health. I mean, and they're not going to fucking listen to us on that. I know they're not. You know, it's just, again, it goes back to the devs. Just They, they don't take our feedback that serious, I feel like. They say they do, but all I hear are words. You know what I mean? All I hear are words. The ride foam is a nightmare, huh? Because then when we say, hey, no health, come on, for years, and then they give us health, and we say, again, amplified, no health, no health. And they're like, uh, you know, it's going to help you come up with really cool build. It's just like, we're not idiots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are we? It's just like, we didn't really accept that answer, did we? Did you? It's sort of like, are you taking feedback or not? Because we gave it to you, and it's a unanimous, like, we don't want it. Come on already. I mean, it's a political, uh, it's a public, it's a PR thing, really, you know? Because they're saying, like, oh, I'm sorry we nerfed your watch. But look, we gave you all this health. That's all it's doing. That's its purpose. And that sucks. Exotic. And so that's why I'm just not a fan of the PTS. It's just like... Blue screen. It's um, it just seems like it's such a waste of time. And I mean, it's nice to get a preview of things and whatever. It gets you to think about what you might want to do. So, you know, what's kind of interesting about this build that I'm running right now is it's over-tuned for missions, which is also a bad thing because there's not as many elites and we got all this protection from elites, right? <laughs> and the elites are kind of far and few in between. So if you notice that time we died, it was because we got riot from, sure. But also the guys that were shooting at us weren't elites. I mean, the resistance still helps against everybody, of course. So, See, right there, I lost my headhunter, and we shouldn't have. Just because you enter a new room doesn't mean you lose headhunter. If you play fast enough, it should carry over into every room. But maybe they fixed the timer because maybe they said, hey, the 30 seconds wasn't really 30 seconds. We're going to fix the clock on it. It's supposed to last 30 seconds, right? Which is plenty of time to run into the next room. So the timer's about to go out. Got it. I don't know if that did anything, but it worked either way. Oops, fuck. Let's 
Try this again. This is where we died last time. Bulletproof much? <laughs> Stupid backpacks, huh? Oh, didn't see. Oh, you guys are coming out of the hole. seem to be in control of the holding area. The hyenas are knocking out security cameras. Pretty smart of them. Chicken tendiers! <laughs> I love your name! Oh, come in. Coming through. Oh, thanks for that sub, man. Backing up your words with action. Love it. Love it. Ah, oh, come on, lady. I wanted to kill you. See, the rifle is just easier. You see me leaning into the rifle a little bit. It's the ammo thing. It's just less to worry about. And that's why, you know, I use it on the uh, Hunter's Fury one for the same reason. Just, I like having a build that has all the answers to the directives. And 1886 is a, is a sniper in disguise. Except it's got crit damage. So, you know, if your damage was on the edge, which it's not anymore. Then the the sniper then comes uh, into action too because it brings in a hundred percent headshot damage. Or this brings crit damage. We're not even using. Sad. Hey, I'm not wasted slot. We now have two wasted slots. Health. Was that what it was? I'm not sure. I don't remember. I never really paid much attention to it. Salty. Yeah, but now it's 60,000, which isn't horrible, but I notice it. I don't know what my health was before, but... With missions, you could use the pistol all the way through, by the way. Because they're not that strong. So I'm saying. Let's stick to the pistol for a while to show that. Maybe elites, you drop your damage. Uh, we'll see. I was wondering if the relic... Could now be a good gun with the new gloves. The exotic gloves. You know, just blind fire that thing. Guaranteed crit on the headshot thing, you know. Be 
Please don't catch me on fire, lady. Our regen came back pretty quick, though, didn't it? Come on. There it is. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Hold still, you fucking hyenas. You're the worst. Risky, huh? We would have to start over if I died. You gotta test them to the limits. So yeah, I do. I do notice. The lack of an armor core in exchange for protection from elites in here. Because we're hardly seeing any elites. And I got 36% of that on the build. In exchange, the enemies are easier to kill, though. So there's a trade-off. It wins. But in the open world, it's you feel a lot tankier. Yeah, I don't know. Is there a balance somewhere in the middle? See, we lost our headhunter again. This is so weird. All because we entered the next room. And the, the weirdest part about it, let's just say it is a fix, fine. But it wasn't fixed yesterday. And so that's the part that's throwing me off, you know? Because yesterday I was running all sorts of headshot builds and... Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Why don't you die? It's four shots. Really good at dodging bullets. for pussies now I'm just testing the strength of it against non elites here yeah I mean pretty good it just comes down to having that really fast time to kill with it though I mean that's that's what's doing a lot of the heavy lifting right you gotta it's balanced with how fast it can kill and that's the important trick I think with Aegis and so I, th I think that from what I can tell like if you if you go on the too too much on the tanky side, I don't think you're really gonna like it. You're not gonna feel very tanky. All right, so we finished our project and we got an exotic component and a bunch of other goodies and a level up. Yeah, they did a good job with the projects.
especially because resources are really important and their projects are giving out resources, not just the exotic components. Oh, that's weird, V. 79. Is that Bill or B? Bill. It could be interesting. I might pick that one up. We got skill builds to make, and, you know, don't be afraid of glass cannon on some of these skill builds. They're pretty good. It's pretty good. Playing from cover, it powers up both your skills and your weapons. You know, I, I know I realize on D, a lot of DPS builds, you don't have to use glass cannon anymore because you have some really good alternates to power and lots of amplified damage out there now. But for skill builds, you know, it's just you're behind cover anyways. And you got something that's really doing a good job of taking attention away from you. Okay, so I'm going to lean into the rifle more because of the ammo situation. So, and because it pairs up with the shield, which is pretty cool, which we can't use because of, um, what do you call it? The directive. Sorry, your brain froze there for a second. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put back on the nemesis, all right? And then what I'm going to do is keep Providence here, but I'm going to run uh, another armor core. Let's see if we can power this bad boy up. The armor's just shield, so I'm going to just kind of reverse some of these things. And so I'm going to go ahead and put back on protection from elites on the mask. And just, we're going to tinker it until it's good. So we're down to like a... We got three red cores now. And what is that? Four, five blues? How many blues? One, two, three, four. Four blues, three reds. So that's cool because we're also going to get a power up when we grab those. But yeah, because of the ammo issue, it's going to be about rifles for me. Uh, it's annoying to be right when you're running directives. Now, if you're not running directives, sniper's a great option. I mean, what are you going to do? Let's reset these. And then we will um, might as well go out and pick up a couple extra pieces for alternates. Yeah, sorry about that colorblind mode. It does cause a lot of confusion, but I wasn't running it for the longest time. I started running it again, and it's kind of the point. I could kind of want you guys to ask because then maybe you'll use it and it is a good idea to help your survivability. Like, um, especially like in, in certain game modes, like the incursion. Oh, justice. I'm using the 1886. Sorry. I just saw your question. Justice of peace. What's up, man? 1886, baby. Okay, so let's finalize this uh, this 1886 build. So it doesn't mean we're done with the gear set, okay? We'll be creating many builds out of this, but we're testing, like, you know, we're understanding its limits. In danger. Because I do, I do think it's going to make a good skill build. And for those of you that are interested in seeing it as a tank build, you know, we could put something together for it there but i don't know <laughs> foundry i mean if you're gonna take away all your damage i mean this is this isn't gonna help you yeah excuse me just needed that i can put on this All right, let's uh, work some mechanics in here, shall we? Okay, uh, pulling out the TAC-50, let's find ourselves an elite. 
Are you an elite? No. Don't blind me, guy. Oh, another tank. Whoa, you see how fast it was going? What are you guys? These guys suck. Those tanks suck. Alright. Mission accomplished. Where is the last guy? Oh, there he is. Oof. Taking a lot there. <laughs> that fucking tank. Oh, fuck you. The melee. He's so fast with that melee. I mean, I pulled the trigger. I was shooting in the middle of that melee. Got it off, though. I mean, his melee is faster than my trigger, right? That's crazy. Jesus game. God forbid you die. It takes like an hour to load up. Actually, let's. No, the Habsburg would be the same, wouldn't it? No benefit there. I hate running out of ammo. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of a dumb directive, if you think about it. It's like, hey, this is a looter shooter. You're taking away your ammo? <laughs> like, I get it. You want to make it harder and stuff, but I don't know. There's other ways, right? Those tanks were a nightmare, though. Did you see how fast they were rolling? It was zoomed across the map. I was like, whoa. But yeah, they, they're tough because they, um, you know, they, they just, they're relentless and like they don't stop shooting. Yeah, so we got good damage there right out, right out of the gate. The first kill was a, a red guy, though, so we need to test that. Thanks for the free trophies. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, tank. Or was that a grenade lady? Tank is nasty. It's mean to have a tank that shoots fire like that, to be honest with you. Pretty mean. It's like not even fun. Not a lot of damage you just took right there. Get 
did the boss come from? Is that the boss or not? So I tried to say the boss is for last, you know. Kill his support. Tough crowd. Where'd he go? Where'd that drone guy go? Fuck, they are fast. How do you get up there so fast? <laughs> Ooh, those tanks are following me. Breaking your neck, buddy. God damn, the tank's making me miss. Can't land that shot. Oof, tough crowd. All right, let's get our XP, I guess. Jesus Christ, huh? <laughs> the hell of a lot of fire that just came our way. Please don't fire another grenade at me. Oh my God, I'm on fire. Oh my God, what is going on? I can't get in cover. Jesus. What? You guys saw me hit him center mass, right? Like, wow. Wow. He didn't he didn't take that damage. Well, I better give it a rest here, folks. I got to help my daughter with her homework. I'm already a little bit behind on that. But uh yeah, cool. we'll we'll continue to pick this up, but I think I got a good feel for it. And then uh I'll fine tune the build. We'll come up with something here and then continue on our journey. Thanks for hanging with me guys and look forward to tomorrow's video. It'll be a good one.